beautiful Vancouver Park uh, with my husband Abraham. Hello. And we're gonna walk the trail a little bit here to get to where we left off last time we were here. And let's see if we can find some cool stuff. Let's do it. See you later. Bye. So I'm in the forest here in the park. And this is my first, or actually my second hole. And I found this here. And I think, I might be wrong, but I think it's actually a, a bullet. I have to do some more research on it. But that's what it looks like. Okay. On to the next hole. Hopefully something grand coming up. First target, a big nail. Uh, <laughs> second target, another nail. No, sir. So I'm sitting next to a stream and my second hole, our third hole, and I found a penny. And it's a 1981 penny. There it is. 1981. And my pinpointer likes to be part of the conversation. Up to the next one. So I found, I was digging this hole. I, I, I'm just shaking. I mean, like, fuck, like, look at it. It's, I think it's silver. I'm not 100% sure what it is, but let's take it out. Ah, it's under a tree too. Yeah. Oh, oh neat. <laughs> look at that. Look at that! Wow! That's crazy! What's on the bottom of it? So, I found this here, uh, in, in this tree here, underneath there. And uh, I, I, I'm still shaking from it. Like, if you look closely, you can, you can actually see that there, I think it's Greek. Um, it's not silver, it's silver plated. It says it at the bottom. You will see that on the wrap up, but like, wow, this is, this is my first treasure. <laughs> yeah, Jeez. that is so cool. It's under this huge, big tree, Near, like a little, and there's this little bubbling brook right beside it. Isn't that cool? Oh my goodness. Fuck. High five. Whoa, 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 high fiving. That is so cool. That is amazing. This is so cool. <laughs> An axe head. Isn't that neat? Oh my goodness. Man, it's going to be hard for me to carry around, but I'm going to carry it around. That's my second axe I've ever found. That is so neat. After the really cool find i uh, only found nails and stuff and now i find a pocket knife yeah that's a cool find that that is really cool see yeah keep on digging and keep on looking and you might find something cool in the forest where the people are looking at you Well, this is an old can, I think. Pretty uh, rusted out. And what's neat is the ground is such so mulchy that I can like stick my hand sometimes like down to my elbow in this stuff. It is really neat for uh, digging up targets because it's so easy. All right, on to the next one. So pennies used to be made out of copper. Nowadays they are made out of like zinc or something like that. And this is what happens with a zinc penny. I can't even tell how old it is. It is an older one because it's a round one, but it could also be a US one. And then they turn to nothingness. Oh, on to the next one. Look at this uh, overturned two trees, a 
this is why it's dangerous to be in the forest here in BC during windstorms because the roots are very very shallow and uh, they just topple over I'm gonna go over there and see if there's anything in there found this key and it looks like it says key bolts on it and it's got uh, markings on the sides of it too it says it on both sides Key bolt. Key. It's weird. It's right near this really cool old stump. And there's Abraham in the background. <laughs> and this is a US penny. I mean, you can barely make it out. And. Uh, there's not enough cleaning fluid on the planet that I have with me to clean that one. So you will see it at the wrap up. Off to the next one. Just dug up the weirdest thing. I don't know if you can see this, but it has like a hole here. And it's metal. It has a hole here. It's, it's a really logging boom. It's hollow. Yeah. There is a normally a wooden peg that come out of here and this here is to catch cables when they're logging or have something attached to it. But that's you think so? Look, there's a hole that goes straight through. That's cool. Whatever. I thought that maybe might be. it was like a sword uh, <laughs> you stick your sword in it, you know? One of those Oh yeah, sheep? Yeah. That's it, long. That's like There must be holes in the Oops. top here for a piece of wood or something. So here's the wrap up. Uh, these are the things that I found in the woods. Uh, I found lots of uh, old um, tin cans or uh, metal boxes and cans and stuff. Some wires, nails. Uh, this one's a wood nail, I believe. Um, some more, looks like countertop edging and stuff. Um, uh, this is another example of uh, why uh, detectors are good for uh, um, the forest and stuff, C cleaning up broken glass that can hurt people later on. Um, the site that we were at was a, a bit older than um, other times. I started finding uh, cans that have the little church key uh, punctures in them. And unfortunately, around the same area, I found two more uh, glue tubes. People are repairing things in the woods. Yes, yeah, okay, yes. <laughs> um, I found like some survey uh, clothespin. Um, this has some weird uh, writing on it. It was on a, I think it was a wooden stake, so I hope Probably a lot number because it has a number there and stuff. Doesn't look like GPS coordinates or anything. Uh, a couple of pennies from the 80s, a uh, uh, quarter from uh, 2000. Uh, this is a heavy piece of, looks like, I don't know what it is. It's melted, it's really hard, so I don't think it's lead. And this is from my plastic sensor, which I may use uh, to hold artifacts. Um, Someone's lost part of their glasses. And these are my two star finds of the day. Uh, I found a key. It says cave bolt on it. It has um, chevrons carved into the side of the key. And it's also on the other side. So uh, somebody really lost that key? Yeah, and they lost it. And, oh. and it has a really great patina too on the key. It's like a really nice brown color. Um, I'm wondering if, you know, maybe is there a cave in the in the forest somewhere and this key unlocks the bolt or the lock to it? I don't know, but they lost their key. And um, my axe head, which I think is really neat. You can see uh, there's a little bit of a design there. It has a blunt end. And inside there's like five or six nails. And I guess they uh, tried to repair it a couple of times by uh, 
sticking the nails in there so that the wood would expand and stay on, but didn't work. Um, this is the second axe that I've found. Um, the first one, um, my uh, friend Melanie and I, uh, one of her boyfriends bought her a, a detector for um, her birthday, and we went to her grandmother's house, and uh, we just went to the first tree we saw, and uh, and, uh, and I found an axe underneath the tree. So this is my second one, and uh, it reminds me of uh, those days gone by. And then here we have Abraham stuff. So basically, for everything good, a lot of bad comes out. So we we looking over here. This is just like the the bad. And 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 then the window winder for a car in the middle of the forest. You sometimes wonder. And I like the lids, and and, and this lid sounded pretty good. You know, I mean, it was flat, gave gave good signal. Then over here, people making whipped cream in the forest. It's a CO2 cartridge. And this is what happens when you put a CO2 cartridge in a fire, I guess. Because it's just the same thing. Like if you look carefully at it, you see over here the, the, the gas, where the gas comes out. And that's how I found it. So... To my, my 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 sense here, I basically is what a, an American penny, a, a roached American penny, and a Canadian penny from uh, uh, 1980 something, um, nothing really great. Then we go to my semi great find is this buckle. It's pretty cool, you know. It uh, we're not quite sure what it's from, but it's quite heavy so it's really well constructed and what we got here is a pocket knife and uh, if you look closely you can actually read that it says uh, 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 boy scout on it. I got it and then over here it's a this is basically a 22 bullet uh, people must obviously do uh, hunting in the forest there for squirrels and then my ultimate find first treasure this is basically a silver plated uh, creamer and with like a Greek pattern on it uh, it's hard to see because it always uh, and it's basically was made by the Toronto silver company and it has a mark on here and Carrie can tell you a little bit more about it because she oh, went overboard and did like a three year study on it <laughs> uh, so there we go okay sorry it's upside down uh, so it says manufactured and guaranteed by and it says standard S company Toronto uh, Limited Canada has a 1452 and it's electric plated and we found out that the company um, ran in Toronto from 1882 to 1929 yep and um, the main office was in Toronto at um, uh, 570 King Street which now is a heritage building to protect the the company um, it was um, the first company in Canada to um, make silver plated items and they had an office in Toronto as well as one in London England and they had one in Vancouver and Winnipeg so um, this was probably purchased in the uh, the Vancouver showroom and it could be between 136 to 89 years old and that's um, you know pre-World War II uh, it could be pre-World War I as well if it was uh, you know purchased in the 1800s so uh, and that's pretty neat and uh, you know why was it buried under a tree that's the like that's always the question why is yeah. something there and that makes it really cool yeah um i'm pretty sure there was no ashes in it it was just dirt from uh you know it wasn't uh you know some weird burial or anything 
so I'm, yeah. I'm thinking a kid was playing with it by the stream, you know, and, uh, you know, it just got buried there. I and think blood sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Bye.